Hi everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shelly Geigel with JS Hobbies and Crafts. And what I have for you is a, it's a mini album folio. And there's no chipboard in this, but it is so much fun. And this was made with the Echo Park Bewitched. So you might, you're, you're looking at here two different ones. Um, one of which, um, these are not in the kit that, um, these little paper clips, these are extras and so are the brooms. So um, I wanted to put it there to show you how you can kind of dress these up even more. Um, so I'm going to set this one off to the side. Um, you will notice that this one is die cut, so that is an option for you. So let's take a look at this. This is a four and a half by eight inch folio and it is quite large and it has the little band there and we're going to go ahead and just open this up so the first thing that you're going to see is a magnetic flip okay and here are some really cute picture mats that you can place photos on you can place your photos down on this and this as well this, now this whole thing is going to fold out on us, right? So right now what we're looking at is a little pocket and a picture mat back there. This flips up, and this was an afterthought, so um, on the PDF that you can download for all the pre-measurements to give you the folio base and all the black cardstock um, cuts, uh, this little guy here is extra, um, and we do that together. Uh, the picture mats, really quick. The picture mats, the black cardstock, is not on the measurement guide, so we kind of do that together. Um, but let's just take a look at what we have. So what happens here is this does fold out, and as you can see, there's this thing just goes and goes, so it holds a lot. So let's look at this side first. Here is a little tab, and we have a picture mat, and we have a little um, tag here, or you can mount this to cardstock as well. But it just kind of slips right back behind. Uh, we have a pocket here, and we have some picture mats that go there. And uh, we'll just slip those right back in if I can get them in. There we go. Slide those in there. Now on the back side of this, when you open it, you will notice that there is a, another pocket. And you can mount these uh, little thing, little guys onto cardstock to make more picture mats. You can use either side. The purple is lovely. Cute little pocket there. And this is what you first saw. Okay. So now what happens is this. This here folds out, and we've got a pocket, right, with some stuff on it. But also what it does is it pulls out again, and we've got our waterfall. Isn't that cute? We can place a photo here, we can place a photo here. Now let's take a look at the back side of this, okay? So on the back side, we have another pocket, and we have another place to place a photo. Okay, so that just kind of slides right on in. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, so we have another fold out here, and these are two little picture mats and a little cut out I did that just kind of slide in right up underneath there. I thought this was just, I love this paper, it's really cute. So let's go this way first. We'll go over this way and we have a little tab and a couple picture mats. Just kind of slide in there. Let's take a look at the back side now. And I have a free floating picture mat. There is another pocket here. Um, with some stuff and we made that together and there's a place to place a photo here or over and even on here so those are things you can do so that is this folio this little amazing folio that I 
created. Now when you put this back, it kind of folds in on itself. And then this, what you can do is just fold it over and it comes right back over the top. Okay, you could fold it over the other way if you wanted to. Okay, to go like this, if you wanted to, and then go over the top. But the best fit is by rolling it in. And then it's all together, and you slip the band to keep it shut. So that is what we will be making today. Okay, let's take a look at what the kit includes. Okay, so for the materials list on this, um, underneath this video in the description area, you can click on the little link provided in order to get a copy of this. Now what this is, is a materials list, and it's also your pre-cutting measurement and scoring guide so that you can get all your pieces ready to go and labeled before we start assembly. Uh, there is no written instructions on assembly. We will be doing that in the video together. Now there is scoring um, for each piece. If you'd like to wait, I will show you the scoring if you're unsure. Okay, so once you have this and you have all your stuff, uh, set it off to the side and you do label it. I do tell you what to label it on this sheet. Okay, so I got mine all ready to go. Okay, so the kit that I'm actually offering for this is this kit here. And what you're going to get is the 12x12 Echo Park Bewitched Paper Collection. And inside here, the kit contains 12 of your double-sided sheets and also the 12x12 Element Sticker Sheet. So there's that, and then all of these really cool papers, and they are really nice. I, I really enjoyed working with this, and on the back side you've got some nice colors going on. So that is what your kit that I'm selling will have. It will also have a roll of quarter inch score tape and your 3 8 inch, inch score tape. And you won't be using all of this for the project, so you will have some left over. You'll also have two uh, heavy duty magnets in your kit, and you will have a pack of the 12 by 12 black cardstock. It's a 10 pack. It's plenty to do this, um, this project with, and it's 80 pound or 85 pound, so it's good stuff. Um, other things that you're gonna need that is not included um, is pretty much your glue. Um, a lot of people already have their glue of choice, so we will be using a little bit of this. Um, I use this. This is the Art Glitter Dries Clear glue, and I do use the metal tip. So if you don't have any glue, you might want to purchase the two ounce bottle, give it a try, but do definitely get that metal tip because it controls the flow, and um, you don't need that much for this to work. Um, I did do this project um, and did add uh, on this first one um, a miniature bro uh, broomstick to the to the little band we're going to be making. And that, if you want something like that, we do sell them. Um, we are limited on supplies. This is just a little clip, and um, we do have a couple of these left in stock. So if that's something that you want to add to your project, you can. All right, so equipment or tools that you're going to need really quick is you are going to want to have a ruler, uh, definitely a pencil with an eraser, scissors, craft knife is always handy, um, scoring tool, your scoring board, and of course your paper cutter. Okay, let's get started. So let's make sure that you have all the pieces that you need. The first one was the folio base. This was cut at 8 inch by 12 inch, and we had some scoring here. So I'm just going to show you very quickly in case you are waiting. You would lay this down so you are 12 inches across your board. You would then score at 4 and a half inches five and a quarter inches, 
nine and three quarter inches and ten and a half inches. So if you need to pause the video and score really quick, you can. Let's move on to the next piece. We needed the right base and this was cut at eight inches by ten and a half inches. We scored at two and five eighths, three inches, and six and seven eighths. And this was marked right base. Okay. For our inner fold out sheets, okay, we had cut two pieces of cardstock that were eight inches by twelve inches. Let's start with the fold out left. We scored it at a half inch. We scored it at four and three quarters inch and eight and seven eighths inch. For our fold out right, we scored at a half inch, three quarters of an inch, five and one sixteenth inch, five and five sixteenths inch, and nine and three eighths. So if your scoring board does not have the sixteenths, okay, here you can either use your ruler or I can show you a little quick uh, tip for your, your scoring board. Mine has ace, so there's the notches, and if yours does, this will work. You see where you have the five inch and then five and one eighth little thing? You will see a little notch in between those two. If you put a pencil mark there, that's your sixteenth, and then you can move it over and score. Now for this other one, what you're going to want to do is place your paper all the way back over to the left and you would go and count here. So here's five. This little notch would be one, two, three, four, five. Five sixteenths would be that little notch sticking out and then you would score. So that's uh, helpful in um, trying to get your sixteenths. So, and then I think the last one was nine and three eighths, and I think I said that. Our waterfalls. Okay, so for our four pieces for our waterfalls, okay, we had cut them at four inches by five and a half inches. So, laying your piece, so you're five and a half across your board at a half inch you will be scoring each one of these and you'll label them all waterfall. Okay, the next one was our fold up and this was cut at four and one eighth by six and five eighths. We laid it down on our scoring board so it is six and five eighths across. We scored it at a half inch and we labeled it fold up. Okay, we had several pockets here, and let's see, we had a total of four pockets. Excuse this for jumping around. The first one was the pocket inner left, and that's exactly how I labeled it. Um, so you laid, and it was cut at four and a half inches by five inches. And laying it down so you are five inches across, you would score it at a half inch and at four and a half inches. And then what you would do is rotate it once, so now we're four and a half across the board, and you would score that at a half inch. The next one was pocket base right. And this was cut at four and a half by four and three quarters. And we laid it so it was four and three quarters across. And we scored at four, oh, at a half inch actually. And it looks like I got this wrong. Half inch, thank God I'm checking. And then we did it at four and one quarter. 
So right here, got that one right. Then we rotated it once and scored it at a half inch. And we labeled that pocket base right. The next one we did was side pocket upright. So, and that was cut at two and a half inches by eight and seven eighths. So, what we did was we laid our piece so we were two and a half inches across and we scored it at a half inch. We rotated it once so it would be eight and seven eighths across. We scored it a half inch and we scored it at eight and three eighths inch. The last pocket that we did was cut at four inches by four and three quarters and we labeled this base pocket. We are four and three quarters across the board. We scored it at a half inch and four and a quarter inches. And then we rotated it and we scored it at a half inch. Last but not least, we have the folio band, and that was cut at one and a half inches by 12 inches. And there was a note that we could adjust the width from one and a half to any size we wanted. So one and a half is a great width. If I want to cut it down more, I could. So those are all our pieces. And what we're gonna first do is work on Assembly. Now there's certain things that we will not assemble until we get our decorative paper down. So uh, the band we're going to stick off to the side. All of our pockets we are going to stick off to the side. Our fold up we can put off here. The waterfalls we can stick off to the side with our pocket. Our fold out right our fold out left we will stick right on over here so the two pieces that we want to work with to start is our left base and our right base okay so we want our quarter inch score tape all right so all we're going to do is lay a strip of quarter inch score tape along the right side of our left base here and you're definitely going to want to use your scoring tool to make sure that your score tape does not have any air bubbles underneath it. And we're going to flip it over and if you can see any score tape peeking over the edge, we're going to clip that. And I need to clip mine. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's, let's grab something with a flat edge like our paper cutter. And all I'm going to use this for is the flat edge. And what I'm going to be doing is putting my right base, and again, I look like this. Okay, my two score marks are here and the one over here. And this is what my left base looks like. Okay. All I'm going to do is use this as a guide so when I place this down, I can overlap a bit overlap it over the score tape and I can try to get an even edge there. So this is where the craft knife comes in handy. And now I can just kind of lay this right over my score tape stickies as best I can anyway. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that that's down really good. Okay. I'm going to stick this off to the side. All right. So once you have that, what we can do is start folding on our score lines. And you'll want to use your tool to burnish there. Okay. Make sure that when you are uh, folding it over that you are matching it up. Make sure that you're even with the sides here of your left base. It's going to make things much easier. Perfect. So right now, after you do that, you should be able to fold in your piece 
like this and bring it over to look like this. Okay. All right. So what we want to do is grab our fold up. Okay. And I am just going to do exactly that. Fold up my little hinge. And now I'm going to grab my 3 8 score tape. And I got my peak up here. And I will lay a piece. Burnish that down really good. Hello, score tape. You'd be nice or not. There we go. Okay, so left base, all this is going to do is I'm going to fold this back and pull it all the way down to the bottom. Now watch your score lines because you have to be free. You don't want to put it on top of there. So if you bring it over, you can see there's a score line here in the edge of my paper. What you'll want to do is try to center that in between. So once you have that down, you can burnish it. Okay, I got cat hair everywhere. Okay, I can now erase my fold up. Okay, I don't need that in there. Okay, let's do the fold out left. And I'm going to push this up, and what we're going to do is fold on our score line. Okay, so my hinge is going to be off to the left. So when I have that tucked back behind, I'm next going to fold it this way and burnish down that crease. And then I'm going to fold it back this way and burnish. So here that is again. Here is my hinge. If you tuck it back behind, you would fold it here this way and fold it back this way. Okay? So turn it over, or actually just open it up. The peak is up right here, and we're going to lay our 3 8 inch score tape. Burnish that down really good. And now we're going to attach this. Okay, and I'm going to show you before I do. So here is this. This is actually going to go behind. I'm going to fold that all in. You see you have a score line here and a score line here. We're actually going to place this. And when we do, it's going to be placed so it's at least a sixteenth of an inch in from this score line. So I'm going to remove my score tape and I'm going to place this. So when I place this to keep me even, I'll start by looking down here, making sure that this is not going over the edge or crooked. So I'll place it down like that and press and then I can guide it up. So let's remove the score tape and we'll do this together. Here we go. So there's my score line, and I'm going to just be in from it a little bit there. And I think that's pretty straight. Okay, you'll open it up, use your tool, and burnish that down. So let's just fold that out. So we have a score line right here and here. And as you notice, this is actually our three-quarter inch spine. So we're going to steer clear of this one. We are going to grab our fold out right. So for this, what we want to do is we have two small score lines here. We will start by folding it towards us. And then we will fold again up towards us and use our tool. Okay, now let's just turn that over. I have both score lines right here. I'm just going to tuck that back behind.
And now I'm going to fold back this way. Okay, there's one. Here's my next one. I'm going to fold. Okay, now this one folds back. So, it should look like this. Our little hinge is off to the right. We have a little spacing there, okay? So we are like this, and it comes back over. There's some spacing over there, and then it comes back like this. Okay, score tape. Just stick it off on that little hinge over there next to the edge of the paper. And we're going to burnish that down. And guess what? It's going to go right there. Okay, so looking at it, we this is our left fold out. We're just going to pull that all the way over. Our next score line over should be right here. This is where we're just going to pinch so we have the stickies and we're going to do the same thing, making sure we're at least about a sixteenth of an inch, uh, no more than that away. So I'm going to start making sure that this is straight, the bottom, and not going on my hinge. So I think right there, and then I'm just going to guide this right on up. Okay, and then I can open it up whoops, and smooth it out. Okay, so this is the left goes in first, and then the right goes over. So we have that, and here's our fold up. So again, we can't do our waterfall or our pockets until, but now, you should have like this until we get our pockets and our other stuff in there. Oh, it's time to get into our paper. It's time to play with our paper, cut it up, and um, get this thing all decorated up. So what I'm going to do is close it. So the close, like I said, is going to go like this over. This is our front. So right front. So you don't get turned around. And this is our back. Okay. So front opens up. Behind the front is our fold up. So we'll work here. I'm going to set this off to the side and get into the paper. So you should have a lot of leftover black cardstock from some of our trimmings and we will be using those for some picture mats or whatever else we decide to do. One thing on this one that I made for myself is I used a die cut frame. Okay. Um, if you have a die cut frame, you can do the same thing I did here. It's kind of cool. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're all going to do like a little hand cutting of a little frame around it. Okay. Not all of us have die cutters and um, stuff like that. So we're going to make this really easy. So the first sheet of paper we're going to work with is this one in your paper pack. And you'll also notice that this is attached. So the first thing we're going to do is trim off this. And you may want to hold on to it because guess what? On the back side, there's a little bit of decorated paper on that trim. There's also Bewitched. So we'll just hold all of our scrap pieces in a pile until we complete the uh, project. So let's trim off that. So we're going to cut this now that we got our trim piece on, but let's flip this over. Um, we're going to turn our sheet so the majority of the print is sideways, and we're going to make our first cut at seven and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, we're going to just take this, put this off to the side in our reserve pile to grab that. Okay, so we can flip this over now. We're going to cut two pieces now. We're going to measure over four and three eighths and cut and measure over again four and three eighths and cut. 
So there's my first one. Here's my second. And this, I'm going to put in my reserves. Okay, I'm going to move this off to the side now. And again, this is my cover. Let's make sure that this is going to fit and still give us a little bit of a black border around. Okay, now you can use score tape on the back of this or your glue. So I think I'm going to use my glue and all I'm going to do is, and I think I had your right front and back so it does not get confusing here. I'm just going to open up my uh, deal here so I can get the majority of a flat surface like so, easier, and all we're going to do here is apply glue, and we're going to glue that down, and then for our back piece, which is this, we're going to do the same thing, apply glue, and we're going to glue that down. So let's do that. I've got mine down, and uh, again, this is our front, and this is our back. Let's get our paper to finish up the front and back. In your paper pack, you will find this print. On the back is the orange, what we're gonna want. But first, let's take off this little trim piece. Although we're going to be using the orange print, we're going to actually turn our paper to look at it like this. And we are gonna measure over six and seven eighths of an inch and cut. This little piece we'll put in our reserves. Okay, we can flip that over now. So the cuts that we're going to make are we're going to measure over three and five eighths of an inch and cut, and we'll measure over again three and five eighths. This piece here we'll put in our reserves. We're going to apply glue and we're going to center that on both the front in the back. I've got both mine down. The next sheet of paper we want to grab out of our reserves is this one. And on the back it is purple. So first things first, let's take off that trim piece. Okay, we got our trim off and uh, what we're going to do is, you can see your prints like this, we're just going to kind of look at it like this. We're going to measure over six and seven sixteenths inch and cut. So, six and seven sixteenths. Now, if you are unsure about measurements, um, my DDS ruler is really good because it gives you the, the sixteenths. So, if your paper trimmer does not have that, then you can uh, use a, a ruler that does. So, right here. Okay, this we'll put in our reserves off to the side. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to measure over three inches and cut, measure over again three inches and cut. So what we're going to do with these is we're going to apply glue and we're going to center that inside the orange little panel there on each one of these. In our paper pack we will find this print on the back is the one that we want, but first let's trim that trim piece off. On this piece, we're going to measure over two and seven eighths inch and cut. And the bigger piece is going into our reserves, and we can just flip that over now. Okay, our next cut is going to be measuring over six and five sixteenths, and the other piece will go in. So. Remember, this is our front, and what we're going to do is apply glue to the back and center that in the purple. So let's do that. Okay, got mine down, and remember, you wanted to put it on the right-hand side here, because that's our front. In your reserves, or actually in your paper pack, you will find this sheet on the back. This is really pretty purple. Let's first trim off this piece and then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this on our paper cutter and divide up all these little panels. So you should have all your panels cut and we're just going to stick those off in front of us. The ones that we're going to be working with is this one for the cover and this one for the back. 
And for the back, we are all set to go. All we have to do is apply glue and glue that down. As for this one, this one goes over quite a bit. If you were to place this down, you'll notice it's almost as wide as that purple. So we want it as wide as the white. So we're just going to have to use our pencil. We'll go like this and we are going to just trim a little bit off those sides. Once you've trimmed, you can apply glue to both of them and glue them down. I've got mine down. Now, if you have a, a die or something like that that you can cut out and frame around that, that look really good. Those of us that do not um, do not have a dies or to make a frame, we can make that from scratch. And all we're going to do is reach and now I did not give the measurements for this um, because you, it's optional. If you don't want to have a little black frame around there, you don't have to. So look in your reserves from your leftover cuttings when you were cutting all of this. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to place this, and I'm going to show you here. You're going to go make a pencil mark. You're going to line the black up with the side of the purple. Or we can go actually a little bit wider, I think. Yeah, go halfway in between the place of corner of your paper. Halfway in between um, your your uh, orange there. Okay. Then what you're going to do is come on, make sure that line is straight over here. Come over to the the middle of the orange over here and make a pencil mark. So let's first trim to get our width. So with mine being like this, it comes out to where I'm going to need a quarter inch, uh, a quarter inch of um, frame around this to make it look right. So I'm going to use this as my guide and place my ruler down to where I am showing about a quarter inch so I know and I'm gonna make a light pencil mark there okay and I'm gonna leave it in place I will come down to the bottom of my little panel here at the house and I'm gonna do the same thing kind of measure quarter inch okay this bottom one that's the one we're gonna trim on so let's do that so if you were to place this down, that's going to give us a nice little uh, thing. So I'm a quarter inch here and here, and I'm going to be a quarter inch in on the side. This is where our craft knife is going to come in handy. So place your ruler down, make a pencil mark, and I'm going to make a couple. Now if you have one of these, um, you can place it uh, one of your your mat to keep you straight. You can do that and use your lines on your mat to line yourself up. But all we're going to do is kind of draw that frame out so we can cut it out. Okay. So I'm going to do that over here. Hopefully, we'll get the same on either side. I can line this up. Okay. And I can erase any pencil marks too. And I'll do the same thing up here. Okay, straight enough. So now that I have my little frame, this is where the craft knife will come in handy. We're just going to cut out that middle section and then we'll check to see how we look on our piece. Okie doke. So let's take a look. That looks good to me so I am going to glue that right on down. Okay I've got mine down. We are moving on in to the inside where this flap is. Grab one of your magnets and you'll measure up three quarters of an inch in from the bottom and just glue one side down for now. Okay. We're going to find our piece right here. 
look in your reserve pile for this, and it's the purple. And if you notice, if you were to lay it down this way, not this way, but this way, um, it's going to fit perfect top to bottom, leaving a little bit of a black border onto the side. Measure over four inches and cut. The smaller piece is going to go back in our reserves, and it looks like I need to adjust my window here because it's getting really bright. Okay, we're just going to apply glue now, and um, what you'll want to do is make sure that you get on your magnet and around it, and then apply your glue to this. Center that top to bottom, side to side, and glue that down. We've all got our piece down now, and I'm just going to pull that right on up. Grab the mate to that magnet and just let it find its uh, mate right down there. Dab a small glob of blue right in the center of that magnet. This is what's going to tell us where that magnet belongs on this side. This is a little trick to keep yourself. So just pull that up, let it fall, press, and voila! We have our magnet. Now when placing this magnet, remember glue goes to glue. Uh, if you put it on the wrong way, your magnet will not catch. So glue to glue side. And I'm going to place that. In your reserves, uh, you're going to find this piece. And it, you'll have two pieces actually, one that's slightly shorter. This one is 12 inches long by approximately 4 and 1 eighth or so wide. This is going to be perfect for placing right here. Okay, so let's measure over 7 and 7 eighths of an inch and cut. Okay, that little small piece left over, put back in your reserves. Uh, we're going to apply glue and glue this down. Remember, add your glue to your magnet and get around it. Apply your glue. And remember, here is our crease. So when you place this, you're going to place this center at side to side in between this score line and the side. So mine would place right like that. So let's get our piece down. Okay, got mine down. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it out. And mine is latching. Woohoo! Yay! All right, let's get our piece for right here. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It is this. So what we're going to do is trim off this little trim piece first. Then we're going to stick this on our paper cutter and we're just going to cut straight down and then across here. So we're going to leave this page full. The only cut is straight down in between. And then we'll cut across to get this out. And we'll be needing this one shortly too. You can stick this in your reserves for now or actually just stick this panel with these panels. Okay, this should be a perfect fit. Apply glue and glue that right onto your black panel piece there. That should still give you a black border around it. Okay, so this is our fold out left and our fold out right like this. We're just going to pull the one that goes out to the right all the way out. We will take the one that folds out to the left all the way out. So we're going to be sitting right here with what we need to get. In your paper pack you will find this print, really cool. On the back it looks like this. So let's trim off this trim piece and then I will show you where we need to cut. Okay, I got my trim off. We're going to look at it like this. Measure over 7 and 7 eighths and cut. We can put this in our reserves. Okay. Looking at your paper like this, measure over four and one eighth inch and cut. Put the bigger piece in your reserves. We're going to apply glue and we are going to center that side to side in between that score line and this score line. Now in your paper pack you will have this print. It's the dark scar uh, starry, starry sky and on the back it looks like this. Let's take off the trim. Okay, we're just going to turn this so it looks like this. We'll measure over 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Alright, the small piece will go in our reserves. We'll also grab out our pocket 
inner left and stick this off to the side because this is going to be mounted on top of this. Let's just measure over four inches and cut. Alrighty. We're going to apply glue and we are going to glue that down. Make sure that you match it up with top and bottom of this panel. Okay, pocket inner left. And I had you label it like that. And we have scored. Let's grab our 3 8 inch score tape and all we're going to do is place it in between that score line in the edge of our paper. And I'm just going to swing mine around like this. If you need to go down and then tear and go across, that is totally fine. And we're going to need our bone folder. Wherever I've stuck mine, here's one. And get out all the air bubbles. Okay, let's grab our scissors. Now, we're, we are not folding yet because we're going to get a clip. What we're going to do is take our scissors and cut. You see where the corner of your score lines meet? So I'm just going to make a cut here, like that. And I'll do the same over here. And then up at the top, where the score line meets the top of your paper, I'm just going to come in. It matters not how far you come down, so clip, and then I'll do that over here too, as best I can anyway. There we go. Now let's fold back on these, and we're going to use our bone folder to help us. Okay, so the top is the flat. If you were to pull this in and up, the bottom may touch over here, which is fine because it's going to help us. If it doesn't, that's okay. Let's remove all our score tape from this. And down here. Come on. There we go. Okay, so first, whoops, I'm stuck. Fold in the side. And fold that up. If it touches, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. I barely made it there. Okay, so, hello. There we go. So I'm just going to keep that shut. Now I am going to bring this all the way down to the bottom of that panel. Try to keep it straight and with the width of your paper there. And we're going to press. And then we'll use our bone folder. Just move it down, make sure it's down really good. And there is our pocket. So let's get our piece for right here. Okay, in your reserves you should have this piece. All we're going to do is put this on our paper cutter and we're not going to cut all the way up or over, we're just going to cut this one out. So let's do that. That should fit us side by side, give it a little black border. So if you want to do it by hand, you can, or use your paper cutter. And I'm going to be daring here. Yay! Okay, I'm going to put that back in my reserves. Now, notice that if you place this down side to side, you'll have a little bit of a black border. So bring your paper down from the top of your pocket the same amount of space that you see side to side when you're doing that. Coming down to the bottom, you should have a nice fit as well. Let's apply glue and glue that down. It is time to get this out of our paper pack. You'll notice there's several trims and before we do anything we're going to take off the little trim piece. On the back it looks like this. So let's trim that off and get what we need off of it um, before it gets ruined because we do need this for sure for our band. So what I'm going to first do, looking at it like this, is I'm going to put this on my paper cutter and I am going to cut all the way down to divide this from this. Then I'm going to cut just to the right of the black and white stripes and cut. So that's going to give me this for my band. This piece, we're definitely going to set this off to the side with our band strip, okay, and it will need to be trimmed to fit 
on the black, but that's okay. We do want to keep this out of our reserve so we don't accidentally uh, cut into it. So I'm just going to put that off to the side there. Okay, let's see what we got here. The next thing um, I want to get is the Happy Halloween Trick or Treat. So I'm going to stick this on my paper cutter and I am going to cut down to release this and then I'm going to cut on the other side of the black. So let's do that. Now this piece here I want you to put off to the side with your band. Okay, it doesn't go on our band, but it is um, go on the outside in between um, the little spacing on this. So let's just put that there. All right. Now, let's see which one. I think I will go with, let's see which one of these, if I flip this over, is going to fit best. I think we better go with the wider one. So what you have left is this. Let's grab this. We'll put this in our reserves. And the first thing that we're going to want to do, and we'll just flip that over, measure over 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Now what we're going to do is measure over 3 and 7 eighths and cut. All right, apply glue to this side. And we are going to place this. And we will line it up with the top of our panel here. Okay, grab this long skinny piece back out of your reserves on the back. It looks like this. This piece here, which looks like that on the back, what we're going to do is cut in between the white and the black because we want this strip. Now, you should also have a trimming that we just did when we cut the side of this panel down. Okay, this one should be perfect for the top and bottom. Okay, these two, however, need to be cut down. So uh, on both of these, all we're going to do is measure over seven and seven eighths of an inch and cut. All right, so I got my pieces. First thing I'm going to do is apply glue to this, and I'm going to leave me a black border, a little bit of a black border on the side. I will center that top and bottom and I'll glue that down. I'll apply glue to this and I will make sure that I do not go over that score line and I leave at least a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch away from it. It's fine but you'll line it up and you'll overlap over your orange. This piece, apply glue to this side and this just goes right down the middle and give us a little color there. So let's do that. Okay. Now we'll be decorating with the sticker sheet um, when um, we get to that. Uh, that. So, okay. We now are looking at the fold out right. Okay. What we're going to do is we'll just lay that straight down here. So on the fold out right, just to the right of that, this is where our waterfall gets placed. So what we're going to do is find our paper first, then we will lay our fold out. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It's the colorful polka dots. Let's trim off that little trim piece. Let's just turn that sideways. And we are going to measure over seven and seven eighths of an inch. Whoops, seven and seven eighths of an inch and cut. The smaller piece will go in our reserves. We will look at it like this. Measure over four and one eighth inch and cut. Okay, turn. We're going to be applying glue to this side actually. And we are going to be centering that. Make sure you are in between your score lines here and we'll glue that right on down. So let's do that. Grab your four waterfall pieces that we had and we had scored that and what we're going to do here, I'm right handed so it's easier for me to do it like this. I'm going to grab my 3 8 score tape and I am going to place it down right here. As you can see, I am placing it in between the score line and the edge of my paper. 
without going over. So if you do go over the edge, you'll have to clip it. So let's just lay all these down. And I definitely went over, but I'm going to smooth these out and then I'm going to clip mine. So now all we're going to do is fold that and use our bone folder. Okay, so with this, all we're going to be doing is placing that and it's going to place side to side in between. And we're just going to have these all kind of go like this. And we'll do this together for sure. But let's just start with, um, we better start with the uh, bottom one. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to undo this. The score tape goes back behind. And if you want to know where exactly I'm placing this, the first one, let's see. We're going to come down, just say approximately, let's do two and a half inches, okay? So two and a half inches from the top of the black card stock, okay? So let's see. That's good. Yeah, it is. So I'll just place a little pencil mark. And I'm going to place this, and I'm going to make sure that I'm even side to side. And we will press. Now we'll go back and smooth it out more as soon as we get all these down. We'll burnish it. Okay, this is easy because here's the sticky. Now all we have to do is line it up with the sides of the other one, push it down, and bring it down on top. Okay, and hopefully you don't get crooked. Okay, we're moving on. Again, bring it to that point. And you can also check like this, push it down. Now the waterfall will relax. Um, over time, so no worries on that. Just kind of sticking this. There we go. Okay, so we're going to need our thing, and I'm going to use the back edge, and I'm going to burnish this down. Really good. Perfect. And again, like I said, this is going to, uh, this will ease up a bit, okay? And it's also going to be contained in this when it is pulled over. So no worries. Now, the best way to do this, because there are a lot of flips and folds, to make sure that you have enough paper we're going to wait to put our paper on our waterfall um, until we are done getting our larger pieces down. In your reserves where we've been tossing our stuff, you will see this sheet. So we're just going to turn it like this and we're going to measure over 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. And I hope this isn't too bright for you guys. I just opened up the window again. The sun is out. Okay, the side piece we'll put in our reserves. Let's see here. Let's measure over three and seven eighths inch and cut. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is, let's see. We're gonna apply glue to this side and we're just gonna place that, center it in there and glue that down. So what you're going to do with this is pull this out of your reserves so on the back. It is this. We'll measure over 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Now, when we place this down on this little flap, when we apply glue, we are going to match it up, of course, with the top of this panel. But we're going to leave this open. So you're going to have more black on this side because we're going to bring it all the way over to 
Uh, you see where your score line is? You should have a sixteenth of an inch between the bottom of this and that score line. I got that down. In your reserves you will find this print on the back. It is this. So looking at it like this, measure over a quarter inch and cut. This long sliver that we just cut off, we're going to measure over seven and seven eighths inch and cut. Okay, apply glue and glue that right on down, making sure you don't go over the edge of that black cardstock. Just leave it a little bit there. Okay, so as far as the inners, I've got mine down. Let's take our left fold out and flip it over like this. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It's the purple bats. So let's just first trim off the little trim piece here. We're going to turn it so we're looking at it like this. We'll measure over 7 and 7 eighths an inch and cut. Now we're just going to measure over 4 inches and cut. Now, if you need to erase now your um, fold out, if it looks like it's going to be too far out, your writing near where this is going to show, then do your erasing. But we're just going to apply glue to this and glue that down. In your paper pack, you will find this one with the cats. Sorry about the glare, guys. On the back, we'll find the stripes. Let's trim off this piece. So I'm looking at the stripes, so they're going across. We're just going to measure over 3 and 7 eighths of an inch and cut this way. Now we're just going to do 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Okay, let's apply glue and glue that down and center that in between our little score marks. Alright, grab this back out of your reserves and the lines are this way. Measure over 3 inches and cut. Now we just have to cut it at 7 and 7 eighths of an inch. Okay, we're going to apply glue and we are going to center that and glue that down. Perfect. So we're just going to fold that on over to the side now. We are done with the left fold out. As far as getting paper down, we do need to decorate and do some stuff. Okay, here's our right fold out. Let's flip that over this way. Grab this out of your reserves on the back. It looks like this. So one thing you're going to want to do is measure to make sure you are looking at it so that you are 7 and 7 eighths inch this way. Okay. Once you've verified that, now measure over 2 and a half inches and cut. Okay, so we're going to be gluing that down to this. Remember, this is our right fold out, and we just put it over like that. So apply your glue and glue that down, making sure that you do not go over your score line. In your reserves, you will find this print on the back. It's the bats. If you were to lay it down, uh, you will be seven and seven eighths of an inch this way. And we're just going to measure over 3 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Apply glue and glue that down. In your reserves you will find this print. On the back it's this. We're about 4 and a quarter inches this way and 12 inches. Well what we're going to do is we're just going to look at it like this. Measure over 7 and 7 eighths of an inch and cut. Okay, small piece goes back in your reserves. We do need to trim this up. So looking at your piece like this, just measure over 4 and 1 8 inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to the back of this and we are going to glue that down right here. And then what we're going to do is get our side a bright pocket ready here. So I've got this piece down. Let's grab our 3 8 score tape, or if you're quarter inch, whatever you prefer. And if you notice, we have our score lines on the side and the bottom of this. We're going to do what we did before, just kind of place our score tape in those, uh, in between the score line and the edge of our paper. 
and then we'll burnish it down. And we will grab our scissors and we will do the same thing we did before. Here's the corner where my score lines kind of meet. And I'll just clip and I'll do it this way. And then up here and from the top of that score line over. Okay, I need to clean up my craft area here it looks like. Okay, so now all we have to do is fold. Okay, let's get our little craft knife out if that's what you use to remove the backing off your score tape. Okay, push in the sides and push up the bottom. And now all we're going to do is bring it to the side and you may have a little white showing but just bring it up along the side and the bottom there. Okay, and then we're going to use our bone holder to mesh that down. So now you have a little side pocket. In your reserves you will find this piece on the back. It's the cobwebs. We're going to place this on our paper cutter and cut straight down to relieve these little panels. But don't cut in between yet. Okay, so one thing that we want is this um, this this uh, pumpkin and um, the, the trick-or-treat pumpkin. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this on my paper cutter and I'm going to cut between here and here. And these two are not for this page, but we're going to set them aside. So let's do that. So with your band that goes around, I had you set aside uh, the trim for that. This is also for your band. So put this with your band piece. This one, we're just going to put with our little cut aparts here. And what we have left is this. And you should have a nice fit side to side, but we, we probably have to do a little trimming top to bottom. So I'm going to line up the bottom of this, the bottom of my pocket, and then I'll just make a pencil mark and trim just a sliver off. So let's do so that. So verify you fit, and then once you've done that, apply your glue and glue this down, leaving just a little bit of black showing to separate the edge of your pocket from this panel piece and this. Okay, it is time to move on over to this side to get our stuff for this. Now, one thing is, is when you attach your paper, the right base to this, it almost looks like a score line. Don't confuse that with the true score line, which is here. Okay, so this is my right base, and I have pencil on my little spacing here. So I'm going to erase that there, but I am going to rewrite right base just in case you need to take a break and come back and you're not quite sure where we're at. Grab this out of your reserves and you should be seven and seven eighths tall. So you're gonna have to kind of measure because they're very close. Here's my seven and seven eighths tall. Okay, so once you know you have it the right way, we're gonna measure over four inches and cut. So verify you are going to fit. Again, don't get confused by your seam here. You should be able to fit this top to bottom and leaving you enough space in between this score line and this score line. So once you've got that, glue it on down. In your reserves, you are going to find this piece. It is orange like this, and notice it is short. And that's the one we want because we have a pocket to lay over it. And we're only about six and seven eighths inch long. And we are about five, uh, four and three quarters wide. So we're gonna look at it like this, and we're going to measure over three and three quarters inch and cut. So before you apply glue and glue this down, make sure you're going to fit and clear those score lines, and I am. So I'm going to glue mine down just like okay, this. Okay, your base pocket. 
and we're just going to do the same thing we've done before is bring our score tape around between the score line and the edge. Okay, let's do our cut. And we're going to install that pocket right like that. Fold in the sides, pull that up, and we'll just place that. Now, if you can see some of the orange of your paper inside, it's not a big deal, so no worries. In your reserves, you will find this piece. On the back is this, and this is what you want. So we're going to look at it like this and measure over three and three eighths inch and cut. And I believe that that's going to give us a good fit with some border if we were to place it down top to bottom and leaving us a little bit of a black. So the next thing that we want to do to fit this pocket is just measure over three and five eighths and cut. So verify that you are going to fit, leaving a little bit of black on each side, bring it down and you'll have a little bit of black uh, between the top of your uh, pocket and your trim. So let's just glue that right on down. If you need to do a little more trimming to fit better, do so. Okay, so we got that. Hey, we're almost done with the uh, paper lay, and then uh, the real fun part is getting all the little sticker and the embellishments on here. So for this, let's look and get our paper. In your reserves, you will find this sheet, and you should be seven and seven eighths inch tall, so we got that part. But let's see here, we're gonna want to measure over three and a half inches and cut. Verify before you apply glue to the side. Verify that you're going to fit in there and it's going to be a nice fit without going over and glue that down. Got mine down so now I'm just going to fold this right on over this way. Okay look in your reserves you will find this print and you should be seven and seven eighths tall however I want the purple and you will have a wider side here, right here, and that's fine. We're just going to bring it more over to the left, leaving a little bit of black showing. We'll apply glue and glue that down. In your reserves, you will find this 12-inch long strip. On the back, it's the black. We're going to measure over 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Now we're going to measure over 3 and 5 eighths inch and cut. Okay, verify you're going to fit in between this score line and this one. And it will give you some black border on either side. And we're going to glue that down. Grab your base pocket right. And we're going to grab our score tape. And you may see two score lines on mine. I messed up in, when I was checking to make sure we had all of our pieces and they were correct. So I had to put a different score line on mine, if you remember. So. All right, we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of do our little cuts. Our in. And mine does not quite fit. That's okay. It does not catch each other. But that's all right. <clears throat> okay, we're just going to lay this in between those two score lines. Keep it straight. And there we go. Okay, let's get our paper. Grab this out of your reserves on the back. It is this. And we are going to measure over 3 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Now, when placing this down, you should be able to place this at the bottom. We are 3 and 7 eighths inch this way. And you should be able to have a black little border there. So all we're going to do is we need to use our pencil. Instead of measuring, let's just use our pen pencil. Bring it over to the side of your pocket. And now let's just trim to fit. We're going to apply glue and glue that down. In your reserves, you will find this 12 inch long piece of this gorgeous purple print. On the back, it's this. Measure over seven and seven eighths inch and cut. Now we're gonna measure over three and five eighths inch and cut. Alrighty, let's apply glue to this side. 
and glue that down. All right, so open this up, okay? Bring over your right fold out, and let's do our waterfall. I had to close the blinds a bit because I'm starting to get a headache from all that daylight. All right, waterfall time. Okay, pull this out of your reserves on the back of this. Let's put this on our paper cutter and cut to take this one off. Don't divide these. Alrighty, let's just set this off to the side. In your reserves, you're going to find a small piece like this. Okay. If you were to lay it down this way, you will notice that it's not quite long enough. So we're going to need to turn it so that to make sure we're looking at it the right way. We're going to measure over 3 and 7 8 inch and cut. So we want to turn it looking at it this way and we want to cut it by 4 and 7 8. So we're going to be 3 and 7 8 wide by 4 and 7 8 long. So let's do that. And you might want to write down those measurements 3 and 7 8 wide and 4 and 7 8 tall because all of our pieces are going to be that. Verify measure. your cut was accurate. If you were to place it down, that'll give you a little bit of a black border on the side, top, and just right underneath your paper. Let's glue that down. Now, you should have some leftover cardstock from when you cut your base. We're going to cut this together. It was not given in the sheet because now what we do now is going to be using that to decorate. So what I have here, and you're going to want to cut, is a three and a half inch wide by a four inch tall. And all we're going to do with that is apply glue. So three and a half by four. We are three and a half inch wide. And we are just going to center that side by side. Now this, now this is the piece that I want us to put in here, but we're going to have to center that. So the best thing to do is center this piece, top and bottom, you'll have a black frame, and we're going to trim to fit. And I want a black frame on the side too. So I'm going to trim that, and then I'll show you what mine looks like. So I've got mine all cut down, and if I was to place that down, that'll look really nice. So I'm gonna, whoop, someone's at the door. Let's apply glue and glue that down. Now one thing about this, and I got this on, and we can just flip that. But if you are decorating it yourself, if you are cutting your paper, if you notice on a lot of the pages, I started with the bigger number, uh, the, the seven and seven eighths. And the reason why is because it leaves us with a larger full panel underneath where we cut. Um, if you do it the other way, um, you may find you're, you're going to run short or you're going to be kind of uh, scrambling a little bit for, for paper. Okay, let's see. In your reserves, you should have this sheet. Okay, so on this, what we're going to do, and I don't think it's going to make much difference, but I'm going to hold mine like this. I'm going to measure over 4 and 7 eighths inch and cut. So this is what I got and I'm just going to measure over 3 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Okay, apply glue and we're going to glue that down right there. Make sure you fit. If you need to trim it a little bit because it's going over your hinge, which it shouldn't, but in case uh, there's a miscut, um, then trim this this panel. Mine is working good, and I'm going to get this down, and then I'm going to wash my hands. I've got glue all over me here. In your reserves, you will find this print. And we're actually going to turn it to where we are this way. Okay, and I'm going to give you the measurement of this to make sure you have the right one. It is 4 and 1 eighth inch wide by approximately seven and seven eighths inch long. So we're, we're actually going to turn it looking at it like this first. Measure over four and seven eighths inch and cut. 
Okay, now all we have to do is measure over 3 and 7 eighths of an inch and cut. Alrighty, we are here. Verify you are going to fit and glue that down. Next one. In your reserves you will find this print and what we're going to do is measure over 4 and 7 eighths inch and cut. And now we just measure over 3 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Verify you are going to fit without getting over your your score line there, your hinge, and glue that down. Put mine down, so that's what our little waterfall is going to look like this way. Let's just push those up and find our paper for this. Pull this back out of your reserves and measure over four and seven eighths of an inch and cut. And then we're going to measure over three and seven eighths of an inch and cut. And then we'll glue it down. I've got mine down. It's time to move on to the next one. In your reserves you will find this piece measure over four and seven eighths of an inch and cut and then we'll cut it by three and seven eighths and then we'll glue it down. I've got mine down now to here. In your reserves you will find this piece on the back it looks like this measure over four and seven eighths inch and cut and then we'll turn it and measure, measure it by three and seven eighths and then we'll glue it down. Okay we are on to our next one. Grab this out of your reserves and we are going to measure over four and seven eighths inch and cut. Now we'll turn it and measure over three and seven eighths and cut and then we're going to glue that down. Got mine down. All right. Uh, so what we're first going to do here is we have some things that we need to do. So with this, your right fold out, how it doesn't fold in like this, okay? It's going to go in first like this and then like this, okay? And then we're going to flop this over. I hope that makes sense. So let's do that again. So we're going to take it and this is going to go like this. You'll see the spine. Take it like this and then if you flop it over it looks like that. Okay, so cut a piece of cardstock that is six and a quarter inches by four inches. And all we're going to do is fold that in half and you can use that on your scoring board or whatever you would like to do. I'm just going to fold mine in half and then use my bone folder to smooth it out. In your little places that we put our little cutouts, find this one. And if you notice, this will fit perfectly giving you a black border. Now, my opening is off to the right, okay? We are just going to apply some glue and we are going to place that down. Now make sure that before you add glue, make sure you're going to fit. If you need to trim your piece a little bit, do so. Okay. Let's open that up. Now in your reserves you will find this and it's narrow and you will notice if you were to lay it down it is the perfect size this way. Okay, We do need to cut it down. You will also find a small piece like this on the back of mine looks like this in your reserves. The same thing, it should fit side to side. So I'm going to double mine up like this and I'm going to measure over 3 and 7 eighths inch and cut. So before you um, glue these down, make sure if you place them down, you're not on your score line and they are both going to fit. Once you know that, apply glue here and here to your pieces and center that and place them inside your, your uh, little folder. Alright, stick your folder in that pocket for now. Okay, 
So fold this over like so. So now we're looking at it like this. Um, on your sticker sheet, you will find the haunted house. And we are going to need a piece of our cuttings from when we were cutting our base. So what we're going to do is back this to give it a little more strength. So I'm just going to place that here. We're also going to grab, where is it? Happy Haunting. Here it is. And we'll place that right here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be fussy cutting around these pieces, leaving just a little bit of black border around. And we're going to do that with both of these. So I'll be back with mine as soon as I'm done cutting it. So this is mine, and you can see I left a little bit of black, and I'm not the greatest fussy cutter, so here we go. So all we're going to do here is put glue at the bottom of this straight across. So you can still slip something back behind, and we're going to center that side to side. Okay. Okay, this one, all we're going to do here is just apply our glue and stick that right up here. Now over here is where uh, we'll be doing uh, something very special right here. And the first thing that we want to do is grab a piece of our black cardstock scraps and place this down and we are going to cut around it like we did before how we cut out and around and I'll show you where this goes and what we'll be doing with it. Okay, so here is mine. Alright, so the only place that we want to place glue, if you flip it over, is right here just do a couple lines. We'll put it right here centered top to bottom. Make sure that's down. Now let's make a, a couple picture mats that slide down in there and up. Cut two pieces of cardstock that are three and a half inches by two and three quarters inches. Once you've done that, and I'm going to write that down, we are two and three quarters by three and a half inches. So this is wide, tall. Okay. Slide each one of these up underneath and down over the top. Okay. If you find that your glue seeped down lower than you wanted, what you'll want to do, especially if yours is down hanging off the page there, is you can trim yours, okay, so that it isn't over the page. So whatever you trim this one to, you'll want to trim this one the same too, okay, to keep them both the same. Okay, so both of mine fit. I'm not going over the edge there. In your reserves, you will find this purple piece. On the back is the candy. So what we're going to do is, because just in case some people had to trim their shorter, what we're going to want to do is lay this down, and we would be two and three quarters wide here, and three and a half tall. We're just going to place our purple paper down, leaving us a little bit of a black border, and we are going to make a pencil mark there, okay? So that is our first cut, the long way. So now that you know that this is going to fit both of yours as far as the height, this is where all you're going to do is make a pencil mark so you know where to trim on that one. Okay, you can bring this one over on this side. Make a pencil mark. So now you know, you can trim here and then make your other trim and they should fit.
So let's do that. Okay, verify you fit, apply your glue, and mount them on your pitcher mats. Your black mats. Okie dokie. I have mine. And I'll just stick that right there. Slide this one up underneath. Looks good. Okay, a little pumpkin. Slide it right there. It's cute. Very cute. Okay, let's do the, whoops. Okay, let's do over here for the little flip we had. Let's make our picture mats. So you should have this in your reserves and we're going to use them all. So we're going to just put this on our paper cutter and divide each one of these. Alrighty. So for this one, because we are wide enough, we don't have to trim this down. So cut a piece of cardstock and you may have to get into your your 12 by 12 stock of paper for your pitcher mats. But we're going to go 4 and 1 8 inch by 6 and 1 8 inch. Cut a piece and this should fit perfectly giving you a black border. And we'll just glue that down. If you need to pause the video to stop and do that, do so. I'm just going to stick that right over here for now. So we're going to be cutting different size photo mats. So cut a 4 and 1 8 inch by 5 and 3 8 inch. And we're going to pull this out of our reserves. And we are going to measure over 4 inches. And cut. after making that cut, apply glue and glue that down. And that should give you a black border around your decorated paper. Now on our sticker sheet, I want to add a little pull tab to this. So on our sticker sheet it says here, stay for a spell. It's purple. Perfect. Mount that onto some black cardstock. Cut around it and leave a little bit of a black border if you can. If you can't, that's okay. Um, one thing is people ask me why do I mount stuff onto the uh, cardstock all the time? Well, there's several reasons. One, I frame around it. It looks good. It looks polished. Second, it thickens up paper. So it thickens up the sticker sheet, the little sticker here, so uh, it will last. So let's just cut out and around this. All right, good enough. Let's grab that picture mat. So I'm not going to stick it down that far. I want it to be up. So I'm just going to kind of hold it here, as you can see. And I'll put a little glue where I think it needs to be. And press. Okay, there's plenty of room for your photo. Turn it over. If you see any glue seeping out, definitely want to wipe it up. Okay, this one. Okay, you got this one. You got this one. Now that should hold it in and snap still with the heavy duty magnets. Okay, so that one is done. Let's get for here. So cut a piece of cardstock. That is 3 and 15 sixteenths wide. by six and one eighth tall. Okay, grab this. We had set it off to the side. It has that on the back. What I want you to do is you will notice that you will fit top and bottom leaving a little bit. But the problem is, is the width. So we are going to trim a little off each side. So measure in about a sixteenth of an inch on each side and trim. Alrighty, so after doing that, lay it down and make sure you fit. If you are not quite fitting, trim off a little bit here again, okay? I just fit leaving black border 
So I'm going to glue that so down. So sometimes people say, okay, so if I place a photo on here, I'm going to cover up all the words. No, not necessarily true. You can actually put the photo on the back. Okay, so that is one thing. So just make sure that you're fitting, which you should. So let's make some more picture mats. Okay, so cut a piece of cardstock that is 3 and 15 sixteenths inch wide by, oh, what did I say? To myself anyway, not to you yet. Four and a quarter by four and one quarter inch tall. Okay, so we're wide three and fifteen sixteenths. Okay, so in your reserves you will find this. Perfect. It's going to fit so long as we trim off the side. So just lay it down, make a pencil mark where you need to fit and trim. Once you are done doing that, verify you are going to fit, then apply glue and center that and mount that down. Okay, so this one's just going to go right on top of that one. Okay, for now this is good, so we're just going to take this and fold it in how it's supposed to go. And we'll get to that one too, so no worries. Okay, so we have this one. And where did it go? There we go. Okie doke. So let's move on to what we need to do here. All right, this is the part. So if you take this and fold it over like this, it's going to be sitting like this, right? Because we got to be able to have enough when it comes over. That's why we have the wide spine. And you'll have the spine over here. This is where we're going to be making a fun little pocket. Yes, we are. I am going to tell you what to cut. Cut a piece of cardstock that is four inches wide by six. And one eighth I think. Six, nope, four by six. Okay. Okay, this. So this we're gonna have to trim. So what you're gonna want to do is place that down so you can see your black here and black here. We're just gonna measure to fit. So I'll put a pencil mark there and a pencil mark there. And I'm going to trim down this way and across this way. Okay, once you verify you're going to fit, we're going to apply glue to this and glue that down. So this is where our folio mini album here really starts to come alive with all the fun little things we do. So I am going to bring this down a little bit. You see this flap here? We're going to be mounting this right there to the edge. It should not poke over the side edge of this. So we're only going to need uh, a little bit of glue up to a certain point. Okay, so I'm just going to take my fingers, I'm going to hold this down, place my finger right here so that I know where I need to go up to. Okay, so glue only goes on the edge and goes on the bottom and up to about the same. So this is where scrap piece of cardstock is going to save you from getting glue seeped over. So we're just going to stick that center, bring that don't go over the edge of your fold or it will not want to open up on you. Okay, we're just going to stick that down now. Okay, so when we open it, guess what? If you have any glue seeping out, you're definitely going to want to do fix that. So we're going to need to put some paper off to the side here 
in my reserves, I have this piece, okay? And it is a piece that is almost the same length as the black card stock here. Remember, this is a pocket we just created. So let's place this down, and this is just a scrap piece that is about two and a half inch wide by five and seven, eight, six inches tall. This is where our pencil comes in, and all we're going to do is lay it down so we can see a little bit of black. We will make a pencil mark where we need to trim that way. And I'm going to pull mine out so I can see my black cardstock, my edge here, better. So I'm just going to trim down this way and over. So let's do that. Verify you are going to fit. So you have an option. You can use this side or your purple side. And honestly, I'm going to use my purple side. I think I do want to use that side. And just make sure that you don't close your pocket by going onto the other side of this one. Okay, so let's make a little picture mark to slide in there. Cut some of your cardstock that is 3 and 1 8 inch by 4 and 1 8 inch. And off to the side, we put this little guy. He should fit. If you need to trim him, do so. But we're going to apply glue and glue him down. And then you can slide him right in the pocket. Okay, cut a piece of cardstock that is 3 and a half inches by 4 and 3 eighths. In your reserves, you will find this piece here. And this is very simple. It should fit top to bottom. And all we are going to do is make a pencil mark, trim it to fit, and glue it down. Slide it in your pocket, and you should have a lot of room here. So whichever way you want to do. Okay, so we are good there. Let's just flip that over. Let's cut a piece for here. Cut a piece of cardstock that is four inches by six inches. Make sure, yep, four by six. In your reserves, you will find this piece. Okay, um, I still have some of my white left on there, so I'm gonna trim that off. And now I'm going to check to make sure that I fit, and I do. The only thing I need to do is come down here, make a pencil mark and trim this to fit, and then I'm going to glue it down. This is a nice size picture mat. We're just going to slide that right in there, push it in, and it will go all the way in. Now this piece here, fold it back. What we're going to do is on our sticker sheet, where did I see it? Maybe it's not on my sticker sheet. It's not. Where it is, is on one of our trim pieces. Okay, grab one of these. You see where it says Bewitched? We're just gonna cut that because I thought it was on the sticker sheet. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. So, we're just going to snip off Bewitched. We're going to grab a piece of scratch cardstock. Boy, I really thought I saw Bewitched on there. Oh, I did. Huh. It's a bigger version of this Bewitched, it looks like. Or is that the trim? It is. It doesn't matter. So, we're going to go with what we just said. I'm losing my mind. We're just going to place that down on a piece of black cardstock. And we are going to cut around it, leaving a black border. So, this part, this is where on the other side, this is where this goes. Okay. On your sticker sheet, you'll have this pumpkin. And we are going to place it on a piece of cardstock, but we are not done. You'll find the witch's hat. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of glue to that. 
and I'm going to stick it on its head. I'm now going to fussy cut out and around. Got mine cut out. All right, there should be on here, we're going to get some pieces ready to go. I'm going to grab another piece of scratch black cardstock. There should be the books on there. And to make room, I'm just going to put that down. And I'm going to cut out and around this. Okay, oh, that was a crappy job. Okay, there's also this, the witching hour. It's witching hour. And I'm going to place it down and cut around that. Grab Trick or Treat cardstock, and we will cut out and around that one. And we'll start with these. Okay, <clears throat> the wit it's the witching hour and the pumpkin. So we're just going to add some glue to it's the witching hour. And we're going to center this side to side and right down the middle there of those two prints. The pumpkin. Okay, it's going to be off to the side there. We'll put some glue on there. And we're going to place this, make sure you don't go over the edge, but it's going to overlap a bit onto that banner. Right here, I do want to put the witch. And we're not going to cut out and around her, we're just going to place her. Alright, flip this over. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Had my parents ever known that I actually said that as a kid when I was being rotten with my brother, they would have knocked me to China and back. <laughs> Alrighty. And we're just going to place the books. I think we'll place the books right here, but don't glue it all down. Just a little at the bottom so you can slide something behind if you want it. Okay, let's check this one out. That looks good. Aha, this is what I wanted to do something there, but maybe not. So we're just going to fold that in. This, we're just going to fold over to this side. Pull that out. So we got trick or treat, smell my feet. Aha, this one, this sticker. Sorry if it's bouncing. I am going to place this down and cut around it. See this little sticker from the sticker sheet? We're going to just place that right there. This one goes right here. You will find this lollipop and we're just going to stick it off to the side like this without going over and it should stay on your, your page there. You will find the glasses and we're just going to stick that right off to the side. All right, let's open this back up. Um, let's finish up on some picture mats. Cut a piece of cardstock that is three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And you will also find this in your reserves. So the first thing we're going to do with this, and I'm going to give you the measurement, is we're going to measure over five and three eighths and cut. You can stick this off to the side with some of your smaller pieces here. Okay, so now you should have the correct um, height to fit on there. And we'll just make a pencil mark and trim that to fit, verify it fits, and glue it down. In your reserves you will find this piece, and I accidentally cut it before turning the camera on. It is about five and three eighths long by about three and seven eighths no two and seven eighths okay so what you're going to want to do is measure over four and a half inches and cut cut a piece of cardstock that is three inches by four and five eighths yep. three by four and five eighths and that should be a good fit for this. And then we'll just glue that down. Okay, we're going to cut a couple pieces of cardstock. We have three and three eighths inch wide by five and three eighths. And this one will be three and three eighths by six inches. 
So the first thing is in my reserves I will find this piece and it's orange and all I'm going to do here is once I have that is I'm just going to lay this down and make a pencil mark and I'm going to trim the easiest way to get some of these done here and that's going to fit perfectly. Now for this one, a little bit different story. So we're going to grab this out of our reserves, okay? We'll turn it like this and we'll measure over 5 and 7 eighths inch and cut. And once we make that cut, we should fit top to bottom with a black border. And we'll do the same thing here, just kind of make a pencil mark. And we will cut the fit. Apply glue and glue these two down. Okay. There we are. So this is going to go over like this, this over here. Let's get some stuff in there. So we have some of these and these you can mount if you want with um, cardstock or whatever you'd like. Okay. You can actually make the little folder books like we did over here. I believe it was, where is it? Right here. So you can actually do that. So for this, I'm going to put these in. And then I had some here. Okay. So this is definitely something that you can do. And where's my little guy there? Okay. And you can stack all these in there. Start putting them different places. I think we covered most of our stuff. Oh, I can go over here with some. Put that in there. Okay, so putting this all together once again, and we still have leftover stuff here. So, all right, let's move on. Remember, um, you definitely um, can add more to this. There's a few things left there for us. So to make sure we do this the correct way so it fits nice is all we're going to do is pull this in and I knock this. Stick that there. Okay. That goes in first. Okay. Then we take this. That goes over the top, back, and over. Now this side we just fold up and it just kind of goes like this. Okay, kind of fits in there like that. Just keep folding it up. Okay, so for here though, you know, I really want to put something there. That looks a little blah for me anyway. So we'll fold that back up. Oh yeah, let's let's add something. This will be cool. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna give you a measurement. You'll like this. Cut a piece of cardstock that is three and one eighth inch by eight and three eighths inch. And then we're just gonna fold that in half. Okay, the opening is at the bottom. Place this down. It should fit perfect. We're gonna glue that down. And we are going to glue that down. So here is this, and we can always add cardstock. We're just going to get the bottom of the back. And we'll place it right here. Okay? So you can still slip things back behind. So I really quickly just cut some things there. Alrighty, let's get that band done <clears throat> because that's what's going to hold everything together there. You see this spine? This piece here I had you stick aside. This fits right there. So what we're going to do is on this, and you may have to cut a little sliver off here, off the side, but we're going to measure over 7 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Alrighty, so I'm going to apply glue and glue that right on the spine there. Perfect. Okay, so 
this. So we did one and a half inches wide on our band. You will notice that this needs to be cut down. This is one and a half inches. So what we're going to do is measure over one and three eighths inch and trim it. After you do that trim, if you notice and lay this down, it'll give you that nice black border all the way around. But before we glue that down, let's get this the way it's supposed to be. So close your album up. Okay, kind of place it center so you have the same amount. Down here on the side where it curves back around, push it up so it makes a mark. Okay, and then when it comes around here, crease it. Okay, so you'll see two creases. Here, we're going to do the same and bring that over. Make sure you are matching. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is just kind of bend and then I'll double check myself. So if you did it loosely, great. If you did it too tight, you'll find out in a moment if you need to adjust. So place that there. And when you wrap this around, make sure you don't pull it real tight. Okay, you can back off a little bit to give yourself some room on your thing. Okay, so once you see where you're supposed to be, now you can kind of open this up and put some glue, grab some cardstock, something back there, and then bring it over. Make sure you can get this on and off, slide it, and I can. Okay, the band. All right, so um, you can choose uh, to have the kitty over here and over here. We do have the Whoops, that fell out of my book. Where's that other piece? This one. This is the one that goes right on the front. I am going to do this down to black cardstock first. Okay, so once you have that cut out, you can position this so that you can actually see where it is you want this to place. So for me, i going to move it over. I have a little bit of a kitty there. i got a kitty cat there that I know where that needs to be. I'm just going to bring this on down here. Place this. Okay, it is time. And now I like leaving this so that it is um, on. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue here. And I'm just going to go all the way around, and the glue goes on my paper. Just make sure you get that down on your stuff. Okay, and that's the back. All right, different things that you can do is, like I said, you can add a broom. And these aren't part of the pack. These are, um, you know, things that you can buy extra. Um, we sell these in a three pack in the miniature section and in my store. And let me see where my other one went. So, what you can do is add extra stuff. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the end. And I like this one with this one a little bit better and the more natural one. So there it is. <laughs> that is so darn cute. Okay, so uh, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Again, you have so many different options here. And yes, it is supposed to be a nice tight fit. And you should fit everything should fit in there nicely. Let's see, these did have to go back in. I forgot where I stuck these. Here they go. One here, one here, and my little guy up here. So that's it. Cute. So if you have any questions regarding your um, album, uh, please feel free to email me. I hope you've enjoyed this little folio mini album tutorial.
Happy crafting, everybody.